inside another dimension, face battling barbarians and evil magic on a quest for adventure in a maze of monsters. Once you get into it, you'll never be the same. Hero Quest. Now with two new adventure packs, the legend grows. Hi, welcome back to Not Your Mother's Hobbies. And today we have another undead hero quest miniature. It is the mummy. You can see here, we've already got our Zenithal airbrush prime on here, all ready to go. Uh, and this is gonna be a super, super simple, really short video. Not a lot to do. Here's our thumb palette already started. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so when I thought of my mummies, I thought of bright yellow wrappings and I instantly had a flashback to a YouTube channel that I had seen when I originally got into HeroQuest years ago. Um, it is a guy called Rush the Wash. I'll link his YouTube channel down below. I'll put the little bloopy in the top right corner and uh, go check him out. He's got some awesome classic HeroQuest videos on like restoration projects and uh, interesting wash layer techniques like glazing 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 to get shadows and depth really cool really beginner friendly uh check them out but anyway uh when i thought of my zombies or my mummies i thought of this bright wrappings and instantly remembered and uh here it is this is his recipe uh, a little bit modified here and there uh for for the skin and the other things because we've got new paints and whatnot but yeah, so we start off with Cassandor Yellow. You might think that's that's super bright. That's obnoxious. Wow. Don't worry. We're going to hit it up with some other stuff. It's going to look really cool in the end. Just trust the process. Trust it. So you're going to hit all the wrappings with this. Try, try to leave the few parts of flesh untouched, but it's not a big deal if you paint outside the lines because we'll just, we'll just fix it, you know, after. Don't worry about it. So here now that's all dry, this is where we tone it down. This is where we get the depth. Some seraphim sepia, a sepia wash. Uh, that's gonna fill in those cracks, give it a really nice depth, uh, some added contrast, and it's gonna kind of warm up <laughs> an already warm, like overly warm color. But you know what, it's gonna really warm it up. It's gonna tone it down, warm it up, add contrast. Super cool tinting to this beast. Um, really like it. I think it comes out super cool. So just hit all the wrappings again with this sepia wash. Avoid the flesh once again. And uh, with this sepia wash, hit the bone on the knee. He's got a bony knee right there. Hit that bone too. Here's that bone. Hit it with wraith bone, <laughs> right? We're gonna use the wraith bone to clean up any mistakes. And we're also gonna use it to just take care of that bony knee right away. You know, layer uh, layer up that highlight in there right away. Just get that bony knee done. Uh, and then yeah, clean up any, any little blippy mistakes that you need to do. All right. And now we're just gonna dry brush. And we're not gonna dry brush all the wrappings, okay? I'm using my crappy craft paint and we're just dry brushing literally the top parts. So you can see I'm doing the top of the thighs, the top of the head, the leftmost chest and arm, and then flip it, reverse it, go to the back, right? We're getting that left cheek of the booty, we're getting his upper back and his torso and just the uppermost stuff. Look at that, super speed, already on the flesh. We're gonna use Space Wolf's Gray to give him a kinda, I feel like it, it gives a cool dried out look. I don't know, to, to me, that's what I, I see. This is like a dried out kinda guy. Uh, so we're gonna use this, we're gonna use Space Wolf's Gray, give him this kinda cool gray death look to him. And just hit all of those exposed skin areas. So I think his elbows, uh, his knees, behind the legs, uh, his fingies, and his face. So just hit all those little areas, be neat and tidy, 
use your best skills uh don't worry though <laughs> if you fudge up it's paint you can paint over it do not worry just try again Now what better way to highlight up that skin than with gray sear, another cool gray color. So just go around all those flesh areas and um, pop those highlights on. You know, he's got his dogs out. You gotta, you gotta get those dogs, man. Get each individual dog you gotta highlight up. Don't be scared, they're not gonna bite. Okay, not a lot of extra touches going on. We got the inside of the mouth for starters. I'm just using a shade. You could use a contrast if you want. And from there, boom, Wraithbone, get some teeth action. Literally it. This guy's almost done. The silicanum gray, you can see he's got some hair poking out. It's okay if you just painted that as more wrappings, whatever. No big deal. NBD, F's in the chat if you did. NBD, pay our respects. And then we finish off with our usual basing. The basing we're doing for all the monsters. Uh, if you want to see it more in depth, check out some of the earlier monsters. It's all there, but you can kind of see we got gray paint, gray texture paint, white gray dry brush, brown shade, white gray dry brush. Done and done. And there you go, quick and painless. This is the fastest monster minion miniature for Hero Quest that we've done so far. So freaking fast. And I got over that skeleton hump. It was fun. The mummy was so fun. It was so fun I got my mojo back. They're all done. All the mummies are done. <laughs> and here's the alternate sculpt. It is a, a lady mummy. A mummy, perhaps? You can see that she's got a beaded necklace. I chose to do it as like a gold thing. Um, I don't know, I thought they'd be cool as like big gold jewels or I guess gold isn't a jewel, but you, you get what I mean. Big gold hunks of gold. <laughs> and again, we use the same colors all over and we get a cool different look on it. And here's all the paints that we used. I got a request to put this in here. I'll be doing it from now on, you know? It's it's going to be a thing. So pause the video, screenshot, write them down, whatever you want to do. They're going to be there at the end of every video going forward. So there you have it. How to do the mummies. This is by far the shortest video. This is going to be for you guys who do paint this. By far the shortest time spent on a monster. It's going to be easy peasy for you. As always, if you found the video helpful, give it a like. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Let me know down below how you're enjoying the series, what you want to see next, etc. What are you working on? Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, uh, this will date it, but happy Mother's Day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.